welcome back. Now, time for a rune reading with Teresa. And first up, we've got Sheila from Manchester on the line. Hi, Sheila. Hi. Hi. Okay. Tell us a little bit about your story and why you're calling, Sheila. Uh, well, what it was, uh, I've been divorced uh, 18 years and remarried. And I've got three children, and one in particular won't accept my new husband so i was just wondering what's going to go on in my life before it's too late is anything going to come of it or you know get together uh you know i would love to know Teresa. So you, you want to contact your your son yes my, my son right. yes okay. please okay well we'll try and have a look at this for you Teresa's Sheila. pulling out the runes for you, Sheila. Right, I mean, this is a difficult you. one, isn't it, Teresa? What I think is difficult about this is it's been going on for so long, hasn't it? Yes. And you know my theory about this. I think life is far too short. Exactly. And what... Have you tried to make contact? Have you put some input into well, this? every time I do try, it gives me the brush off. He does? Even well, you've actually telly... spoken to him, so he doesn't want to know. He wants to put the phone down. Yes, exactly. OK. We've got the rune of almost grief. This is a rune of grief yeah. that Sheila's been... It's a terrible thing, you know, she's got children. One of them doesn't want to make this connection. And is it just purely because they don't get on with your new partner? I have no idea. I have no idea whatsoever. So you've never been told what it is that you've done? I can't get to the bottom of it at all. OK, because you've never been given the chance to ask? No. Did he suddenly just disappear and...? Yes, he just gave me the brush off as soon as he, he, I mentioned I was getting a divorce. Right. It could very well be that in this guy's mitigation, I'm not saying that he's right, but we've got a rune here of sensitivity. And it could be that he's extremely sensitive, that he took this very much uh, um, on board, that he, wasn't, he was feeling very down and depressed at the time. One would have assumed, however, that after 18 years, he would have had his own stuff going on, you know, mm. Kate, that, that sometimes people work through things. I feel that you need to keep giving it your best shot, Sheila, because yeah. whatever happens, at the end of the day, if this guy is going to say and remain this stubborn, which I think life is much too short and it would be very sad... Yes. I feel that as long as you, as a mum, are doing your bit, try to make contact. The bottom line is, if he's not going to do it, he's not going to do it. I think he is going to come round. I don't think it's ever going to be the wonderful, close relationship that you would like. No. But I feel there will be some contact there. And at the end of the day, we have to live with ourselves. And it's very important that you keep up the contact, because if he's going to be stupid about this, he also has to live with himself, Sheila. Yes, definitely. You know, mm. and it's really important that you keep up that contact. Right. Mm. Thank you very much. Um, well, no, you're, you're welcome, welcome. Sheila. I mean, as you say, it might not be so much as him being stupid as, as, be, as purely being sensitive. It might be something completely different as, as to why he no, doesn't I think, want no, to... I think he was sensitive about the breakup. Yeah. But, you know, he's 18 years on his own path now, and one would assume, because he's had his own stuff, he'd be slightly more understanding about maybe yeah. why Sheila and his dad broke up. Yeah. Well, Sheila, lots and lots of luck to you. I hope that advice from I do Therese hope that's has helped. Sheila. Right, but you, you keep on much. making contact, you know. Thank you, Therese. I yeah. will okay, do. good luck yes. with that. Take care. Lots of love. Thank See you later. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. No, you're most welcome. Bye. Bye. OK, now our Maria went after Annika Rice for a reading. She finally managed to catch up with her, and um, here's what she found. Annika, it's lovely of you to come in today and to do your chart. Can I ask you, though, have you ever had your chart done before? I haven't, though I'm absolutely fascinated by it. Let's just start off with your sun sign, which is your energy, your vitality. What gives you your drive? Okay, now you're born under the sign of Libra. Now, one of the chief characteristics of Librans is they cannot bear injustices. Presumably through being a Libran or whatever, I am, I'm so affected by things that other people wouldn't even notice. No. So I, I feel as if I have this sort of knife sort of stab, stabbing into me for mm. things that I can take on board and, as you say, injustices. Injustices. Matter so yes. much to me. Yes. Being a sun sign Libra with your moon in Gemini, you're also a natural communicator and because we've got Mars in Gemini with you as well this does sort of rev things up a little bit it's about the energy and the emotions coming together and how well these two work together tells us how balanced you are as a person now in actual fact Annika you both of yours are really well balanced I'm going to say no. this <laughs> <laughs> my family will be going no no, 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 no. Oh, well, we've not got to the nitty-gritty yeah, yeah, bits yet but on the emotional side 
you are very restless. You do get easily bored. And it makes it very difficult for you sometimes to sit still. Mm. When under pressure, you yeah. will become the action yes. man of the zone. I'm a very again. good person to call in a crisis. Yes. Not in my yes. own crisis. No, not in your own. <laughs> Terrible. But extremely but good at sorting out else. other people's problems. Yeah. I'm looking particularly now at 1972 to 73. I would suspect this was a really tough, emotionally difficult time. Um, there would be disruptive. Yes, it wasn't a happy time in my life. No. My parents sort of yeah. splitting up and um, feeling very insecure. Yes. It would have been very easy for her to just look back on press cuttings and since I've been well known and it was much more personal to me, the fact that the dates she chose happened to be before anyone knew anything about me so that was significant for me. Now another year I'd like to look at which isn't long after the previous one but it's 1981 to 82. This was a very strong character building time for you. Yes definitely. You know, I was so scared. Yeah you were you were I left on your really own scared feet. scared and frightened actually yes. but uh, as you say it was a kind of time of great sort of self-exploration. I was still only about 19 and I was living yes. this extraordinary life where no one knew me, no one even knew how old I was. I always pretended I was older to get mm. some interesting jobs. I'd sort of almost destructively um, handed in my notice at the BBC and given up my job and bought this one-way ticket and gone off to Hong Kong. It's almost as if I wanted to sort of test myself in some ways and really force myself to, to break away from sort of a feeling of I was in a rut. I feel as though there's something coming to you before Christmas this year. There is definitely a new opportunity coming your way. And by January, something that's set in motion now will be coming to be sorted out in January, but coming to fruition in the summer of next year. Now, is there any questions you'd like to ask me? Oh, I think I need to go and have a very large gin and tonic <laughs> and, a, and sort of take on board everything you've told me and just look forward to the coming year, really. Oh, lovely Annika Rice there. Now, earlier on in the show, Robin told us all about our mystery guest. Give us a quick reminder, Mr Lowndes. Very quickly, uh, good body, uh, legs are important. Just uh, the legs, huh? Well, mm, more than you. that, the whole body. <laughs> Critical writer, uh, and she's somewhat conservative with the moral high ground. She's uh, somewhere quite conservative that way. All right. For a career? I would say a good critical writer, gossip right. columnist. OK, all right. Uh, well, let's find out if you're right as we meet today's guest, Melinda Messenger. Oh, I love that. I love that. And do you know what? So many people say that. You all, they say that I walk like I've got a purpose. I'm trying to get somewhere. Yeah. And I do. You but gossip. Well, I know that. Bossy. Bossy. Do you think so? <laughs> and legs, we've got the legs. Yes. Oh, and yes. I'll, sinewy, I would have preferred slim, but sinewy will do. Why, but why the legs? Why are the legs so important? Because yeah, we thought we'd mention something else, Robin. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad Not to be rude, but yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, supple. Supple, exactly. Leave it at that, shall we? But do you know what I love that you said? Um, you said, um, don't shoot this person down, otherwise they might shoot you back. And of That's course, the right. expression is, don't shoot the messenger. So uh, I thought, very clever. Yes. Did you so say I didn't that? even know. Oh, now, you you really? said before we started that, it's, Melinda, that, you, that you were a little bit cynical, a bit sceptical. Yes. You believe that some people have psychic powers, but you are I do. I mean, I, I'm really intrigued and fascinated by all of this. And I do believe that there are lots of people out there that do have the, the gift, but yes. I think there are plenty that don't. And I do always try and keep an open mind, and I don't just believe. So, what do you think I after hearing? Because, I mean, that be specific, because the dates that we got, I think, oh, yes, you got said between 26 and 28 was a big, big turning yeah. point. Yeah, you had a career. big start at uh, 19. But then you went on, 26, 28 was the big change and really took off for you. Well, um, that's absolutely true. From the, um, In fact, I was 26 when I came into this industry and that yeah. was probably about the biggest uh, life-changing event that I've had. I went from an ordinary job into this, absolutely. which was totally different. Uh, 19, I, I can't think of anything in particular that happened to me around that time. I think it was an achievement. You actually did something that you, you can remember that you did well. Whatever oh, you do, do you everything. just do well. well. Yes. <laughs> well that's oh, not true. Tell you she was honest. And <laughs> what about the conservative? Oh, the conservative, a bit of, conservative. Because there's a bit of a moral morality mm. here. You, you are quite tough, and sometimes it, if it were children around, you'd be tough on them. Actually, yeah. I mean, I it, to an extent, I would never have thought of myself as being conservative. In fact, I'd say I'm quite liberal and very, you know, I'm but not, not with children. But not with children. And no, and there are uh, the things that I believe in. I believe in strongly and vehemently, yeah. and you know, yeah. I'm unwavering on those. That's so right. maybe that's where that comes into play. You could be a bit of a disciplinarian if you really. <gasps> 
you know, mm. went down that road. Mind you, you only said one child. Was that yes? I've got, yes. A new, I've, got a, I've just yeah. got another baby. I've got, I've got two. Yeah. So uh, I see, see two, but uh, the one which was very important at the moment. Um, also, those children are going to be very physical. Are they? Going to be very physical. In what way? They're going to be beating me up. Uh, no. <laughs> beating each other no, 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 no. Probably athletic, runners, gymnasts, or whatever. Really? Somehow there's a connection with all that physical stuff. And your thumb, come on, let's see your thumb. Okay. That, hold your hand up like that. <laughs> yeah. That, that. Can you see that thumb? Look at that. Good it's not only bendy, but that? it's very thumb and supple. Now, the bend shows sociability and ability to get on with everything and every circumstance you face it. Full on. What about the future then for Melinda? Future, Any changes? Well, I see some more um, writing, but particularly more public face and more delivery. Actually, learning to deliver lots of lines. Brilliant. Really? Well, thank you so much, Melinda, Ooh. for joining us. We'll have to leave thank it you. there, unfortunately. Oh, no thank you very much, <laughs> Melinda, and to Robin, of thank course. Uh, we're going to be back tomorrow because that's all we have time for today. But tomorrow, playing card reader Sasha Fenton will be here and we'll be finding out how your future can be revealed in the lines of your face. So I must have a really odd one. Anyway, join us at two o'clock. <laughs> We'll see you then. Bye-bye.